questions that may come up in the data structure. So I'm just going to be having this displayed, then I'll go over the answers. So a tree is a dynamic data structure, stating the meaning of the term dynamic when applied to a data structure. So it's when the size of the size changes as data is added and removed, so the size is not fixed. One disadvantage to the programmer of using dynamic data structure compared with static data structure is that it is more complex, so it's difficult program to write. State one type of data structure which must be static, an array or a fixed length record. Draw a diagram to show the binary sort tree obtained by adding the word words orange, red, yellow, pink, green, blue to an empty tree in the order given so that they can be sorted into alphabetical order. So here we go. So orange, so that is the root. Then red is more than orange, so it goes to the right. Yellow is more than orange, but then it, it is more than red. Pink is more than orange, but less than red. Green is less than orange. Then blue is less than orange and less than green. List of steps needed to add one new data item to an existing bio tree. State in any exemptions you may make. So the answer is you start at the root, you repeat this, the compare new data with current data. If new data is less than current data, follow left pointer, else follow right pointer. Then you repeat that until pointer is null. So then you write new data, then you create a new null pointer for the new data. So the marks that you'll be awarded are, you start at root, you, there's a repeat until loop, there's the comparison of values, follows pointers, condition for end of loop, write in data, So writing data, creating new pointers, so that create a bit there, and then assume new data is not already in binary tree. I don't think that assumed it there, or is same data type, so that's, a, a, that's an assumption you'll make. The diagram shows a data structure storing data items A, B, and C. Two pointers are used, the front, which points to the first item in the structure, and the free points to the free space immediately after the, the structure. A is front of the pointer, and free is after C, as there's, that is where the free space is. Data items can only be removed from the front of the structure, while a data item must be while data items must be added to the other side, state the correct name for this type of data structure, and it is a Q. And it is a Q. Complete the diagram below to show the result of removing one data item and adding two new data items X and Z in that order. So adding on to the thing, you'll just remove A, so A is gone. Then B is now the front, then there's C, then X and Y is on the end, then after Y is the free space. So front point to move to B, X in cell, in cell to right of C and Y, in cell to right of X, three pointer move to correct position. 
An array is an example of a static data structure, state the meaning of the term static in this context. Size is fixed when structure is created, so the, the size cannot change during processing. State one advantage of using a static data structure compared with a dynamic data structure. Uh, amount of storage is known, so it's easier to program. Right, the diagram shows a data structure storing data items a, B, and C. Two pointers are used. So this is from a previous question. So complete the diagrams below to show the result of each change. For example, for each example, you should start from the original queue. Two items are removed from the queue. So it look like so. Two items. So that'd be A and B. So the C is now the front, and then the free space is next to C. One item D is added to the original queue, so it would be A is the front, B is the same, C is the same, but then D is added where that free space was, and then free space is now next to D. The queues shown earlier is our dynamic data structure. State the meaning of the term dynamic in this context. So this question has actually wake them up. So, term dynamic is size changes as data is added and removed, so the size is not fixed. A queue data structure could be represented by a circular queue, for example, RS, then free space, then loads of other spaces, then there's P, which is the front of the queue, and then there is the queue after. So, explain why this representation of a queue may be more efficient. Easier to program because it is a fixed size. All available storage may be reused. Describe the situation in which the free and front pointers have the same value when the queue is empty. A stack contains a number of data items. List these steps needed to add to List the steps needed to attempt to add one data item to a stack. So you need to check to see if the stack is full. So report an error and stop. If it is not full, so else increment the pointer and add data item at pointer. List the steps needed to, to pop a data item off a stack data structure, so that's to remove data. So if a stack is empty, so you need to check to see if it's empty, report an error and stop, output data where a stack pointer is located, then decrement the stack pointer. A list of cities, Aberdeen, Belfast, Cardiff, Glasgow, Oxford and York show the steps of a serial search for York in the list. So it would be when it compares each one. So start at Aberdeen, look at each word in turn, then Belfast, then Cardiff. So look at each word in turn. So that would be look at Belfast, look at Cardiff, look at Glasgow, look at Oxford, look at York, until York is found. So show the steps of a binary search for York in the list. Look at the middle, so Cardiff and Glasgow, since those two are actually in the middle, so you can even actually just could pick one of those. So look at the middle, so that'd be Cardiff. York is second half of the list, so you split the list in half, then half, then pick the middle, then you repeat the half in until York is found. Explain one advantage of binary search compared with serial search when searching for an item in a large set of data. It is usually faster because half data is discarded at each step so that fewer items are checked. 
Show the result of merging the following data files. File A, Anna, Cleo, Hello, Helen, uh, Pretty. File B, Billy, Ian, Omar, Rob and Tom. So the answer is Anne, Billy, Cleo, Helen, Ian, Omar, Pretty, Rob and Tom. And as you notice this in the alphabetical order, although it didn't say it's since is already in alphabetical order, you just merge them. So the exam will look for the correct order and all names are used once. Write an algorithm to merge two sorted files, starting at stating any assumptions you make. Open an existing file, create a new file, create an existing files, Check to see if existing files are not empty. Use pointers or counters to identify records for comparison. You repeat compare records identity indicated by pointers. Copy earlier value record to new file. Move correct pointer until end of one file. Copy remaining records from other file. Then you close the file. So this would just be a Serial or so. So, assumptions assume common key. Assume if two records are the same, only one is written to the new file, so there's no duplicate data. So, explain how a quick sort can be used to put a set of numbers into ascending numerical order. You may use the following set of numbers to help explain how the quick sort routine works. So 30, 9, 46, 14, and 22. So you can either do it a written, which I'll show a bit later, but you can do it in a table. So, 30, so swap 30 and 22. Swap 46 and 30. Then swap 30 and 14 so that the 30 is within the same order so split into sub lists and repeat marks are ordered for highlighting so highlight first number in list the search number pointers at each end of the list so that would be the arrows so this is be when you just use the first number in the list so that would be 30 so you get 30 in the right place and you move on to the next one so you split into list, sub list, and repeat. I just repeat myself there, but well. Uh, then you repeat. So then you can so repeat the compare numbers being pointed to. If in wrong order, swap move pointer on non search number until pointers coincide. So search number is in correct position. Split list into two sub lists. Quick sort each sub list. Repeat until all sublists have a single number. Put sublists back together. So you could have done it another way, which is using a pivot. So on the numbers given, the beginning could be demonstrated by the following diagram. Pivot is 46. Number move to left of pivot as smaller. Choose, choose 14 as new pivot for left section. 30 move to right of 14 as larger. So it'd be a select an item at random, so it'd pivot. Create new create two new lists, one with all items less than pivot, other with items greater than pivot. Repeat until lists only have one item. So that's a more kind of simpler way to do. But I prefer just to go the first way. Describe how an insertion saw is used to arrange the following set of numbers into ascending order. 17, 2, 3, 26, and 5. So here we go. Original set, so 17, that is the first number. And we've just got to order them into the correct order. So insert 17, then insert 2, then you insert 3 into the correct order. Insert 26, since that is no change. Then insert 5. So insertion sort is just going to that location saying, looking at the list saying, right, what goes in this location in the this correct order? So from lowest to highest. 
State one feature of a quick sort which is not used in an insertion sort. Set of numbers broken into multiple sets which use which uses pivots. And that's the end of it. Thanks for watching this video.